Welcome to the Texas Go Radio Show. This is part four of the 1998 live stream by Owen Benjamin, where he is clearly acting like a dangerous predatorial cult leader by saying things such as, dude, it's way it's way worse out there, guys. I know it seems dark in here, in this cult, in this echo chamber, but, but you have to believe me. It's way worse out there. I know that they're calling us a cult, and obviously we're not a cult, but it's way worse out there, and you got to believe me. Wow, I was like, you still want me to, they're like, yeah, it's getting just so weird. Right humor around these people. It's oh, yeah, so that, barnacle. I am not going anywhere. Well, thank you. I just sometimes forget that, in the, especially in the past, some of those wars, you guys have taken some real, some real heat, but it's funny, you know, and I think people do find it funny. Uh, once you get the right humor around these people, it's, that's why I was like, Hey guys, you want me to just let Jim Bob just rant in the chat? Everyone's like, yeah, it's hilarious. And then after a while, I was like, you still want me to? They're like, yeah, it's getting just so weird in there. <laughs> and he's the one telling everybody about God. Okay, let's uh, let's not get distracted. We have some of the greatest grabber football today. It is- what? Okay. What? But it's funny, you know, and I think people do find it funny. Uh once you get the right humor around these people, it's that's why I was like, hey, guys, you want me to just let Jim Bob just rant in the chat? And everyone's like, yeah, it's hilarious. And then after a while, I was like, you still want me to? They're like, yeah, it's getting just so weird in there. <laughs> and he's the one telling everybody about God. OK, let's. Uh- OK, so, I mean, honestly, if you were to get a pen and paper and literally write down the last 15 seconds of dialogue. He does that so often where he starts a little something, trails off, starts a little something, trails off, starts a little something, trails off, because he's not actually saying anything. Because if he did in that moment, he would have to make a a declarative statement, and he's not going to. He didn't say anything, I mean... He mocks Jim Bob and said that he was calling him something that, I mean, it was just very convoluted, whatever. But he didn't really make any declarative statement. And that's why he starts a sentence and then trails off. That's one of the techniques that he uses for his mind control, whatever, horse hockey, uh, bear goggle things that he does for his, for, he counts on the people that just casually listen to him. Let's not get distracted. We have some of the greatest grabber football today. It is heat. And it's in my opinion that that loud clap was for a reason. Up, Bachelor Babylon season 33. I shot five pig ears today after soaking them in, um, was that, uh, saline solution. Matthew Reif has agreed to be my science guy. Oh, Bill Nye. Well, you're out of a job. Reif was just texting me. He was like, Congrats on the viral pig ear video. I truly enjoyed it. Me and my fiance were laughing. And it was like, um, is he talking about Matt Rife, the comedian Matt Rife, the dude that blew up over the last couple of years? Matt Rife, is that who he's talking about? Matt Rife, yo, dude. If <laughs> oh, bro, look into this guy before you start rubbing shoulders with this guy. Like, just look into him. Take a few minutes and and just before because I mean, it's not a good situation at all. Yeah, so we, I don't know what's public. Um, of a, yeah, basically. That's so cr- I don't know. He's literally looking through private text messages, and he says, I don't know what's public. Probably none of it. But he he's a ho- – Owen Benjamin is a Hollywood whore. And I mean that in full context of both words, in full definition. Hollywood whore. He is Hollywood without the Hollywood. He is a scorned ex-lover of Hollywood and not even a lover, like a side piece that in the most grotesque and perverted way possible, never a commitment, just the, the whatever they could use him for. And he was willing to give them everything. And that's one of the reasons why he was so uh, butthurt whenever he had to walk away and then realized nobody actually cared about him because he thought that he was going to walk away and then he would get phone calls and he never got the phone calls. But that's one of the reasons why he has to mention him looking at his phone being like, I don't know what's private or not. Like, you're you're an idiot. 
if it's a private conversation, then it's private. There's no question in my mind that there's conversations that I've had with ex bears and bear Jasons and all that kind of stuff where I don't even talk about it because it's not, it, it's nobody's business for one. There was no indication that I should share it whatsoever. And so leaning a little bit too much to the side of, well, they didn't clearly tell me that I needed to talk about that or that I can talk about. So I'm not even going to mention it is way better than leaning to the other side of, well, they didn't tell me I couldn't talk about it. So I could probably mention it. He doesn't care though, because if it's anywhere, if, if this is Matt Rife, he has to mention it because obviously Matt is uh, way more famous than Owen Benjamin is and probably ever has been, to be honest with you. He wants to be my science guy. Um, what is, I just don't like saying anything private, but he's like, uh, where do you say he wants me to be my science guy? Uh, I'll say the hundred percent of that. Uh, uh, this is bizarre behavior. Ladies and gentlemen. Oh my dude. If, 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 <laughs> It doesn't even matter who that is because it's not going to last long anyway, because this is, this is creepy. This is creepy. So let's just slow it down. Go back a little bit. My fiance, we're laughing. Clean solution. Matthew Reif has agreed to be my science guy. Oh, Bill Nye. Well, you're out of a job. Reif was just texting me. He was like, congrats on the viral pig ear video. I truly enjoyed it. Me and my fiance were laughing. And it was like, um, yeah, so we, I don't know what's public. Um, I have a, yeah, basically he wants to be my science guy. Um, what is, I just don't like saying anything private, but he's like, uh, where do you say he wants me to be my science guy? Uh, I'll say the hundred percent of that. Uh, uh it's almost as though he's salivating at the at the teat of of uh, fame, of Hollywood, of fortune. His his statement just then, where do you where did I say, where did he say he wanted to be my science guy? There was more feeling in that than in any laugh I've actually ever heard him give to his audience. More sincerity in, where did he say that? Than him saying, uh, it's not that I hate you, Gaga, whatever his name is, Gaggins. Use me as your science nerd. And I really think we could do that. We could have a correspondent of Matthew Reif, um, relative of Royal Reif, not the twink running around the comedy scene. trying to. Get oh, okay, so he clarified it. It's not Matt Reif. Who I don't know who he's the royalty of whatever I don't know. It might be obvious whenever I see a picture of him, but is DS. Are you guys feeling good? I'm feeling awesome. Oh, you want? To I honestly was thinking that it was Matt Rife. I guess that's why he was saying Matthew Rife. I'm gonna have to look look that up and see if I know who he's talking about. Your uh, grab or football intro music. Uh, they'll they'll use it to kick me off something. I have super sneaky music. We'll do that. Okay, we're doing it today. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm not someone to be trifled with. As you can see here, AI, I think I may have programmed AI over the years. So Jake Shield says, name one who isn't Jewish. And he, whatever he said, because that's such a ridiculous statement, you would assume, oh, obviously he's kidding, but he isn't. He genuinely believes that there's a possibility that he has definitely some kind of influence over creating AI or whatever, programming it or something. I know that that's hard to believe, but if you actually listen to the things that he has said, it's not that it's, it's not as though that doesn't make any sense for him to actually believe that. Or at least present himself as somebody who believes it. He makes the statement that he's grown two inches since he started living the wilderness life or whatever. He went from 6'6 six, six to 6'8. 
because of his diet. After his, what was it, 35 to 40? He's, what, 44 now or something? About uh, BlackRock. And Croc says, wow, it seems the top executives at BlackRock are as diverse as a monoculture of petunias. <laughs> However, if you insist on finding someone who is not Jewish, I'd suggest looking into the janitorial staff. They might just be the unsung heroes of diversity at BlackRock. So for those of you that are new to the channel, several years ago, I did a giveaway and I really did pay somebody and it was a Jewish guy. I'm not kidding. Any proof to that? Because that would be one of the absolutely few times that he actually said that he was going to do something and do it. Is, is, is that provable? This is the timestamp is 12 minutes and 44 seconds, which he just said it. So it's going to be 12 minutes and 42. Let's just say 1240, 1240 in the 1998 live stream. He makes a claim that he, he did something. He did a giveaway and actually paid somebody. It's funny how he says, well, if you, if you're a new listener, I'm not really a new listener. And I don't recall that whatsoever. I said there are no Jewish gen- this might Was this five years ago, Cosworth? How long ago was this? Was they still on Twitter? Or was this still on Instagram? If it was five years ago, because I listened to Owen every one, like off and on, not on a day to day basis. It was a whole lot like Marlena from last night's stream. We listened about the same time. I I got busy and stopped listening before the whole Nimmer fallout. But uh, it was 2016, 17, 18. No, probably. I don't know. It was definitely before uh, the whole fallen out of Nimmer. But um, 17, 18, 19-ish, probably. Honestly, can't remember. I think it was on Instagram. But I think that's probably accurate, yeah. It was a while ago, though. I said, there's no Jewish janitors. And people are like, oh, I guarantee you can find one. I'm like, none. Which, like I said, I didn't listen to him on a day-to-day basis. And so there was a lot that I missed. Just like Marlena was talking about last night on the uh, Liz live stream. Shout out to everybody that, that showed up for that. Uh, Liz, Beavers, oh, darn. Um, Larry, Marlena, not Tom, Beehive. Oh, man. Was it CJ? I don't know. I can't remember. If you if, if y'all would uh, shout them out in the comment section, I know. For I hate whenever my mind just goes blank like that. I'm like, there's no Jewish janitors in America. Because you can find poor Jews, broke Jews, unemployed bankers, unemployed drug dealers, unemployed... Um, tech uh, CEOs, you know, but nobody that's a janitor, okay? And so I said, I will give $100 to anybody. Yeah, it must have been before I got kicked off PayPal because I PayPal'd, uh, dude, Goldstein got it, by the way, a Jew. Dude, no one could find a Jewish janitor. And people are like, try, they're like, no, no, I know a guy. I'm like, prove it. Show me his last name. Uh, show me where he works and I'll give you $100. And no one could find it. Finally, Goldstein finds me a Jewish janitor. I pay him the 100 bucks. And then it turns out he's non-religious, and I'm starting to doubt he was even a Jewish janitor four years ago. Yeah. And so AI is now saying that if you're looking— Okay, mind you that they have—do they still—is is, uh, N-I-G-G-L-E, is it still operable? If so, why not do that? Because it would be on camera. He doesn't do anything like that off camera. So there would be a way for him to actually prove that this is this actually happened. Highly doubting that this actually happened. Looking for a Jew at BlackRock, uh, find a janitor. And I find that amazing. So I know a lot of people want to believe the trunk shooting. I, For me, it's not about wanting to believe. I'm just really not enthusiastic about another ostracism and being banned from everything. But I'm like an autistic kid with the truth. I just pick at it until it bleeds. Okay? There's no way for me not to do that. Now, Twitter is probably not the place for it. It's arguably either the best place for it or the worst. Best because it's a layer of hell. You can interact with the low levels of... It's interesting that he acts as though he's talking about something that's going to get him banned. 
because it wasn't ever the truth that banned him. It was his vulgarity, just nasty, disgusting behavior. It was never truth. There are truth channels all over the place. On YouTube, on Twitter, everywhere. And the fact that he's still acting is the, I mean, that's all he's got pretty much. I'm the best, I'm the most, I'm the most banned comedian in the world. So, I mean, that's literally all he has. Animalistic zeitgeist and really get, uh, get a lot out of it. But it also can trigger just hordes of, you know, slaves that just freak out. And so, um, I've been diving deep into the shooting and I really, really want to talk about it. Okay. Are you guys in? I heard 9-11 of the, oh dude, the only, was it the only Jewish chant? Oh dude, this is why I think the world's so funny. The only. <laughs> All right. So this is the Texas Go Radio Show. As always, till next time.